All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today I'm showing you my max effort lower body workout and I did some pause squats with the safety squat bar. Safety squat bar is probably my weakest bar out of all the bars I have for squatting with. So I'm really going to try and hammer that with a whole bunch of things. I'm working up to a top triple here today. And I don't even know what my previous, I don't think I normally do pause squats with the safety squat bar. So this is basically going to be a PR no matter what I get and establish how I view my strength for the future. So keep in mind this bar is 60 pounds, no 55 pounds, sorry. So anything you see on the bar will be plus 10 than what you're accustomed to. So right here, this will be what, 365 plus 15, 380 plus 10. This is 390 for three. This was my top set. Then after this, I did 315 for 10 reps. And, or I guess 325 for 10 reps, just as a back down set. Then I'm going to start doing sumo deficit deadlifts. This is about a one inch deficit. Just to focus on keeping my chest up and not turning it into a wide grip or wide stance conventional deadlift. I did three sets of 10 here and I think this is going to be a great builder for my overall deadlift and hip strength. It felt way better than if I just did them from the floor. So this slight, slight deficit is really good for sumo deadlifts, I find. Probably even good for conventional as well. I, I recommend you give them a shot. So like I said, three sets of 10 with 285 pounds with a moderate, moderate rest period. Then I moved into some safety squat bar, good mornings. Really trying to keep the form super strict here. As you can see, compared to before, I am pushing it back. My hips are not dropping as much as they used to. And I'm really feeling the stretch in the hamstrings, low back, glutes, all the muscles in the posterior chain that you should be feeling while you are doing good mornings. And then I moved into some barbell rows. A barbell rows, I've been barbell rowing my face off lately. Here is a set of 10. I believe I did four sets of 10. No straps. Really trying to not rely on straps when it comes to rowing. But if I do want to go heavier, I am definitely wearing straps. I'm not letting my grip strength dictate what I can row on something as silly as a barbell row. Then I call these rounders. I'll make a whole video on it. It's basically an upper back good morning. It works your core your upper upper, ugh, upper spinal erectors, your thoracic extensors, your traps. You'll see when I get other angles in other videos. It is great for those of you that struggle, struggle, I can't talk this morning, struggle at maintaining an upper back tightness in either your squat or deadlift. This really trains those muscles in those areas. So I'll make a whole video on this as well. And then some snatch grip high pulls. This is probably the last time I'm gonna do these for a while. My traps are not a weak point. Uh, that muscle in that area, my explosion power with my hips is not a weak point. So when that starts becoming a weak point, I'll throw these in. I have bigger things, uh, bigger fish to fry than keep hitting a lift, which I consider a strong suit of mine. So then I finished off with some flat back extensions. I don't even want to call it. I guess they're just called back extensions because the other one we call 45 degree back extensions. Just to finish off my workout before doing some conditioning. So if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. If you have a question for me, drop them in the comments. And as always, class is dismissed.